for, for the Democrats when people who really know what's going on are saying they're outright naked socialists. But here's the twist, socialists for the rich. Now, I have heard that if AIG went down, the whole country would have gone down. Are you sure of that? The states would have bailed out AIG. The state insurance funds would have bailed them out. Ella, you know that. Well, somebody, somebody had to step up, and the fact of the matter is... Well, wait a minute. Every state in the United States of America has a state insurance uh, fund, correct? I'm sorry, say that again. Doesn't every state, doesn't every state in America have a state insurance fund? It does. It does. So in other words, it was not necessarily the federal government's job to bail out this insurer. Why did they do it? And one of the main reasons, if not the main reason they did it, is because they are tied to the ownership of AIG. AIG is tied at the hip to the administration. There's no other reason for it, Ella. It's naked, outright, state-sponsored socialism. Well, one thing that uh, that is a strong argument for the Federal Reserve stepping in to, to bail out AIG is actually because the Federal Reserve, through their open market operations... I've heard all of this, Ella. I've heard everything that you've said. We've all heard they had to do it. I don't believe that, number one. And number two, the cost is a trillion dollars. Who's going to pay for it? Can you answer that? In the short term, it's probably going to be halfway financed by you and I and halfway financed by the river. Well, we're not, wait a minute. What about the free market and free enterprise, which two weeks ago was being uh, uh, offered by John McCain and the Republicans as the the fundamental difference between them and Obama, who they call the socialist Marxist. Whatever happened to the rhetoric of two weeks ago? Uh, free market, free enterprise. This is not free enterprise, but most people don't even understand the basics of the difference between communism and capitalism. We have ceased to be a capitalist system. Our fundamentals have changed under George Bush and Hank Paulson, and we have become a, a uh, socialist state where the government controls markets, not the free market. Now, I agree if, you, if, if you like the idea that the government is a socialist government and that it's fine that a Republican did it, well, I think the Republicans ought to just take off their uh, red, white, and blue flags and put a little red star on their caps and tell us we thought about it and we couldn't sustain a free market system anymore because we wrecked it, we robbed it blind. We don't know what to do with our G5s. There aren't enough hangers around the world. So we're now switching to a socialist system where we benefit and you can drop dead. And by the way, in another six months, we'll eliminate the vote altogether because you're too stupid to understand how we screwed you. Thanks for the call. In other words, the government gave us a, col a, colonoscopy, a colonoscopy that we didn't need, and they injured us at the same time. They gave us a good colonoscopy that we didn't need. Not only did they give us a colonoscopy that we didn't need, but uh, Henry Paulson didn't inject water and air into the bowel to distend it in order to look in there. He injected sulfuric acid.